Hey guys, William Bryan here again, and I got a lot of requests on my last video on how to actually upload a WordPress theme to Bluehost and have your theme changed on your WordPress blog. So here's the blog we're going to be changing. This is simplempg.com, one of my websites, one of my blogs. And what we're going to be doing, you see the default theme we have here. I'm going to show you how to actually get another theme, upload it to, to Bluehost, and have your theme changed on your site. We're going to go through that process. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. First off, you want to go and find a theme. So a great place to go is WordPress.org and you can find your themes through their free theme directory. Um, there's actually over 500 themes right here. And I just scrolled down the first page, found one I like called Arrows, and you can hit the download link right here or you can actually click on the title and get a full preview. So this is what our blog will look like when we're done. So you can hit the download link, we'll download it, And once you download it, you need to go to your website cPanel. Now, how do you get to the cPanel? Well, just type in your main web address name. So my main web address with Bluehost is wpbryant.com, semicolon 2082. That is the port that will get you into the cPanel. Now, it will pop you up with a request for a username and password. Mine's already memorized from the millions of times I log in. So once you log in to your cPanel, you're going to see a bunch of different sections here. The one we want to get to is files. Now there's a lot of different ways to get into the back-end file manager of your website. You can get in through FTP. Um, you can get in through some other secure methods, but the easiest, quickest way that I get in um, is through going through the cPanel and just clicking on file manager. Now when you click on file manager, it will give you some options here if you've got a bunch of different websites like I do, then you need to pick the one that you want to get into. So the one we're going to go to is simplempg.com. Hit go. It's going to open up a new window. And here you're going to see if, if this is only WordPress that is installed here, this is basically what it's going to look like. So how do we upload a theme? Now, we just downloaded our theme from WordPress, and the way we upload it to our website, once you've gotten to the file manager here, double click on WP Content. That's going to take you to a folder, and you're going to double click on Themes. Now, these folders are things that we've already uploaded. And the way we put another theme on here is you go to the Upload button. It's going to open up a new window. Click Browse and find the theme that you just downloaded. So the one that we just downloaded was called Arrows. Open Arrows and it really doesn't matter what the name of it there is. That's just a zip file. And Arrows appears to be a sort of large file. So once it says 100% complete you can just close out that window and now you'll see Arrows appears here as a zip file. Now if you don't see it there just hit reload. It'll refresh your directory window and it will be there. So, once you've got it there, click on the checkbox next to it. It'll highlight it for you. And go up to the top here where it says Extract. Click Extract and Extract Files. It'll give you a progress. And then, once it's done, that's great. Hit Close. Now, that's all you have to do to upload a theme using Bluehost to your WordPress blog. So, this is our website I told you we were going to change. Now you want to go into the back end of WordPress. So go to your website blog's name um, and then after the directory name type in wp-admin. That will take you to the administrator section. It will ask you to log in and once you're there you'll come up to this screen. Now you will hit design. And by the way this is WordPress 2.6. And WordPress 2.6 they got a really neat feature where it will actually give you a preview of what your site will look like before you actually apply the theme, which is something really nice because they didn't have that before. So as you can see, once you have extracted your zip file with the theme in it, it will automatically appear. You don't have to do anything else. It's automatically there. So there it is. There's arrows. 
we can click on it to activate it and in 2.6 you'll get a preview so we can see what our site will look like before we update it. If you like the way it looks, if you think, yeah, I'm going to go ahead with it, then just go up to the right here and click Activate. And bada bing, bada boom, it's done. Now we can go back and look at our site. And there it is. Our site now has the brand new theme on it. And that's all we had to do. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions, please put them in the comments. Um, please put anything else you would like to know in the comments. I'm happy to show you guys any other thing you'd like to know. And if you'd like to know more about Bluehost, click on the Bluehost link over in the sidebar. Again, thank you guys for watching. This has been William Bryant. God bless.